In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 MCPE PvP texture packs for 1.17. All the downloads can be found in the description down below, but without further ado, let's get started with today's awesome video. Alright guys, so we're going to start off this video very strong by showcasing the Blueberry 16x PvP texture pack right over here, and it barely takes up any storage, well actually it kind of does, 23.7 megabytes, and it was made by Pacelin for me, so big shout outs to Pacelin, but anyways, let me show you what this pack has to offer. So here we are in our texture pack showcasing world over here and you will immediately notice that the color theme is blue like the channel color which is honestly super duper amazing and you will also notice that the wood is actually changed to be like this light teal blue which honestly is super cool and uh we also do have a blue golden apple and blue enchanted golden apples and over here we have shorter swords we also have a blue fishing rod and a blue bowl which is pretty cool and next up, we have custom paintings. This is actually a texture pack that has custom paintings with a bunch of french fry related things. So over here, we have a cute little kawaii french fry icon over there. And next up, we have another french fry painting with a french fry logo next to a cute little ketchup packet and another one. Uh, this is the last one and it is basically a french fry icon with, of course, um, you know, its arms holding mustard and ketchup. And they look so cute if you ask me. But I really love this pack and just like every other PvP pack, it actually does have smoother textures and it also does have, um, you know, highlighted ores. For example, here is the ores over there and they look pretty good actually does have a highlighted ores as well which will definitely help you out a bunch we also do have like you know this cool little track thingy over there which honestly looks super duper good but over here is the nature section uh, that's like literally the nickname I always give it, but it looks pretty good. You know, all the textures are much more smoother. So, um, you know, you really won't lag. And also what's really cool is the cakes. So they actually did change the cake as well to actually include blueberries, which is actually something that is very cool and very unique in my opinion. But yeah, that looks super duper amazing if you ask me. And uh, here is the sky as well. It is currently to daytime. We have a beautiful, nice, realistic looking sky over here that I know you guys will absolutely be love but anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number five spot let's head on to the number four spot next up we have the fry 100k pvp texture pack right to be here 16x now this one barely takes up any storage only around 5.6 megabytes worth of storage so pretty good if you ask me now this is another really cool texture pack and it does have shorter swords as well and i really like the armor the armor looks absolutely fantastic but anyways i'm just going to show you guys a bunch of the items as well so here's how the items look like they look pretty cool cool and notice how um all of our ui and buttons are actually blue themed as well of course to fit the channel color but anyways here is how the apples look like we have the nice beautiful golden apple over there and the enchanted apple right over there which honestly look fabulous and over here is some of the items as well the items look absolutely phenomenal but one of my favorite things about this pack definitely has to be the ores and the highlighted ores themselves. So they look really cool. You'll notice that they actually have a very smooth a gradient to it. For example, it starts off very light at the tippity top over here. But, um, you know, as it progresses downwards, it gets darker. And that is just so amazing. And uh, all the textures are, of course, made to be incredibly smooth. So your device can handle it. So... Uh, yeah, if you have a lower end device, then you should have no problem running this texture pack um, And I know you guys really love PvP texture packs. You guys have been asking for it for a while So I decided to finally deliver but anyways here is how the diamonds look like over here We got the emeralds the iron the redstone and we saw the gold earlier over there but uh, yeah, I really love the way the blocks look like as well. They look super duper smooth, especially the diamond. Like it just has such a nice and beautiful detailed gradient. Same with the emerald and same with the redstone over there. And here's how the tracks look like. They look pretty cool. I honestly really like it. And here's the nature section. Definitely the grass and flowers are made to be much more simpler. And here is the iron armor looking absolutely fantastic. And here is the sky. The sky also looks great. It's like this nice realistic sky over here. And it looks beautiful. Yes, guys, that's pretty much it for the number four spot. Let's sit on to the number three spot. So we have the Starlight 16X over here. Now this pack was made by Keno and it was ported from Minecraft Java Edition to Bedrock Edition by that guy over there. So big shout outs uh, i don't know how to pronounce that name but anyways this barely takes up any storage only 5.7 megabytes and um what i really love about it is that it's basically a color theme of two colors blue and purple which is honestly super duper amazing so uh here's how the items look like you'll notice that we have the uh purple items over there we have a purple and blue bow and a purple and blue fishing rod over here you'll also notice all of our buttons are purple and blue as well so that's another massive cool feature 
But uh, yeah, the golden apples are actually the same. They didn't really change anything with that, but they did change the items over here. So all of the diamond items are, of course, um, you know, blue and purple, which is just super duper amazing. Same with the enchantment table, which is a small detail that most texture packs don't really include, but I really like how this one included it. And over here, we have the beautiful armor. It just has this nice gradient from going to purple up here to blue all the way down there and it just looks amazing if you ask me and definitely worth a shot um you know to actually use this but anyways here's how the bow looks like i'm just gonna do the little bow animation looks pretty cool and we do get like custom particles over there which is another cool thing and this is more like of a faithful texture pack uh, you know not gonna lie it's not like super super simple like the other ones um but we do have of course some highlighter ores as well we have the highlighted coal over there and we also have clear water which is obviously super duper useful in a survival game modes for example like sg on the hive you know in case there's someone trying to be sneaky, uh, you know, trying to hide underwater, you can catch them in 4K, like I always like to say. But anyways, here is how the ores look like. All the ores are, of course, highlighted, so you can locate them easier in caves and all that. So, yeah, here's how the ores look like. I really like the way the uh, the ore blocks look like. They look fantastic. Here we have the gold ore and the gold blocks. And over here, we have the diamond ore and the diamond blocks. It looks absolutely fantastic. Even in the diamond ore, we still get this beautiful theme of blue to purple. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, here's how the other stuff looks like. But anyways, we're now going to be going to the nature section where everything looks basically the same. You know, obviously, we do get smoother textures as well. So your device will have no trouble running this texture pack at all. So that is honestly a massive W in my book. But anyways, here's how the sky looks like. The sky is literally pitch black. Um, but you know, sometimes simpler is better. So if you don't want any of that type of galaxy or ultra realistic sky, then definitely consider downloading this PvP texture pack. But anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the number 3 spot, let's head on to the number 2 spot. Number 2 spot, we have something a little bit different, and that is the RGB XP bar right over here. Um, RGB or a chroma right over here, and basically it will give you an RGB XP bar over there, and also the little number is RGB as well. So what's really cool about this pack, even though it's slightly different to what we normally review on the channel, you can actually combine it with the other um, texture pack from today's video, and you can still, you know, get this RGB, um, you you know uh, xp bar which i know some of you guys absolutely love but it looks super duper amazing as you can tell it's rgb um it's moving between the colors of the rainbow which is honestly super duper amazing and you can combine them with literally any other texture pack from today's video and you'll get a nice combination so honestly i recommend that you include this with literally any texture pack to be honest um because i just feel like it would make everything much more better but i really do love the rgb xp bar over there it definitely does add a lot but apart from the xp bar all of the textures are from the vanilla minecraft which is why it's recommended that you actually combine this pack with um you know like literally any other pvp texture packs guys that'll pretty much it for the number two spot let's head on to the number one spot on the number one spot, we have the Utility HUD Texture Pack over here. This one barely takes up any storage, literally less than a megabyte, and you can actually add this with other texture packs as well. But it's a very, very, very useful texture pack. So anyways, here we are in our world over here, and basically it gives you a little speed counter thingy-majiggy over there. So, um, you know, you can calculate how fast you're going, and you can see when you're at your maximum. So I believe the maximum is 5.61. So that's honestly very, very cool. But there's one really cool thing about this texture pack, and that is if you actually turn it to uh, first person over here, you will notice that we literally can see our hitbox over here, which is honestly super duper insane. So if you're PvPing with another player, you can see their hitbox, and you will know exactly where to hit, and you know where to hit will actually register and of course attack them. You will also get their um you know their health on the very tippity top of their player. So that's honestly really cool if you ask me, because it definitely reminds me of Minecraft Java Edition. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated and you can always change your mind later once again all the downloads can be found in the description down below please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries